Good evening, friends. I hope you are doing well. I'm also fine. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use S3 uh, pre sign URL uh, functions to make your private objects publicly accessible. Okay, so uh, this is my uh, AWS S3 uh, console. Here are a list of my buckets. So let's open one of the buckets, like uh, this bucket. And uh, as you go to the permissions tab, you will see that uh, block all public access on. That means I have uh, blocked this bucket public access. So any of the objects that is inside this bucket, it's not publicly accessible. So for example, if I open this, uh, if I try to open this file, like this object URL, if I click, I will get an error that access denied, right? So that means this anyone with this URL cannot access this uh, object. Uh, that's fine. And that is the best security that you should always follow. But uh, sometimes uh, you need to make some of your objects uh, viewable for your registered users. Maybe uh, you might have a uh, like a video sharing site where you're you're sharing a video with your registered users so that they can view it but non-registered users they don't view it they should not able to view it right now uh, this is good for non-registered users but how do you make this uh, object viewable for your registered users right so uh, one of the easiest way to do this by using s3 pre-sign url so uh, what is a uh, pre-sign URL? So it will give you a, uh, an URL uh, that is accessible from anywhere. And then that has an expiration into that URL. And once this is expired, you cannot view it. No one can view it. So what you can do is like when your registered user logs in to your system, then you create a temporary S3 pre-sign URL with a expiration date. And then after that expiration, that URL will be invalid and you will be able to make sure that only that user is accessing that file with that URL. Okay. To do this, I, I already have a bucket created. Uh, let's create a new bucket, one more bucket. Bucket here. Yes. So by default, it's all uh, private. And you see, by default, it's take that block all public access. So we are good. Now, the region we are choosing, it's uh, AP Southeast Mumbai, but that's not the correct region. I wanted to use uh, Singapore. <laughs> that's not really a mandatory thing, but uh, I want to use my buckets to Singapore. And uh, the region is Singapore, that's good. Um, then block all public access, that is also good. Then uh, create the uh, bucket. So bucket is being created and any object that you upload into this bucket will be private. It will be private or only for it. So uh, if I object uh, uploading object uh, files and then uh, like this one. And then close it here. Now it says existing Now we wanted to make a pre-sign URL. How do we do that? I am going to show you with Python so you can easily uh use this with python but you can do it with any other programming language uh, if you want like node.js or php whatever so for python you need to have a requirements.txt file where i'm going to use go to go to three uh this is the library that is going to be used for accessing uh s3 related functions so this is the function um just i created uh this is another function i'm going to explain that later so this is the function that we're going to use. It has two parameters like bucket and key, that's it. And uh, expiration, it's, uh, we're setting it hard coding here, but it's better if it's also taking it as a parameter. Okay, what it does is like first it takes go to three that client S3, and then it generates a 
uh, present URL with get object. So get object means that this URL is only valid for getting object. You, can, you don't have any other permissions like boot or update or anything. <laughs> only get. And uh, there are parameters like bucket, bucket name, and key is the object name. That's it. So now let's call this URL with uh, this this bucket is the bucket name then I think uh, testing 24 the bucket name we just went to paste it here. and then this is the key I just copy here so this is uh this is a very simple way that you can do this and now if I run it uh, I should be able to uh, Able to get a present URL. Is that this URL? If you can see, this present URL has a expiration. Is it a signature and also an expiration date? So it expires on 1200, I think, uh, seconds. That means around uh, 30 minutes. But let's, we will customize this. So let's try to copy this URL and copy it. Open up in the browser, paste it. And here I should be able to view this image, right? So now I can view this image. It is preset URL. And uh, let's create another present URL with a very uh, small amount of uh, expiration. Let's say only set it like. Uh, 12 seconds, right? So uh, now if I run it, I should be able to uh, copy it very quickly. State. It's still, I can see it because I think it's within that 12 seconds, but let's refresh. Yeah, that's it. It's gone. So it expires on, uh, like the time expires, and then I, I cannot see this file anymore. So that's the beauty. Uh, so if you have the requirement that you need to serve some of your S3 content uh, to the users uh, with a limited time, and then after that, it will become private, then pre-sign URL is the way to go. Then pre-sign URL, uh, the first thing we discussed about get object, and also using that pre-sign URL uh, feature, you can also put object as well. That means you can use it to upload files. So when we create uh, this put object, then that you will give a temporary URL, and using that URL with a, a put method, you can upload the file directly to S3 without needing any X uh, uh, key or secret key. What is the use case? The use case is that when you are uploading files from like front end React applications, then uh, that is very useful because uh, if you put your access key and secret key in the React application, then that is uh, not really uh, secured and uh, people can actually uh, view it. But uh, if you use this in this pre-sign URL, then your access key and secret key, it's not really exposed to anyone and you are uploading with a temporary uh, pre-sign URL, which makes things very secure. So let's uh, try the second part as well. Uh, so let's copy this. And now uh, the bucket name itself, let's say change this file because this is an upload. So new file. Now, if I run it, then this will give you a, uh, this also will give you an, another URL, but this URL, you can use it to upload files with a put method. And uh, you can use it like React.js to uh, put put this, uh, put a file using this URL as an end one. And that will upload the file to your S3 bucket from the front end application. Okay. So that's the uh, tutorial for today. I hope you uh, like it. This is very short tutorial. And uh, the purpose of this tutorial is to uh, like enforce you to use uh, like pre-sign pre URL if you need that. If you don't need any public access, then make your uh, all bucket permissions private. So make sure you go to permissions and uh, you have a block all up public access turned on. Never never make your bucket public because that, that is really not secure and uh, there is a lot of uh, like security issues that is AWS suggests. So don't follow this uh, 
public. Don't make your bucket public rather than make your bucket private always. And if you need to access any, give access to any of your objects to anyone for a particular time, then use the pre sign URL. That is the most secure way. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do so, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.